Welcome back to another unturned video. Today I went on a rust turn server as a solo, going from absolutely nothing as a naked to full gear. This is definitely one of the best rust turn servers. It is quite new, but the only difference between real rust and the server is just the graphics. Literally everything is functional from two cupboards, research tables, and much, much more. If you guys perhaps want to see this as a series on the server, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll be sure to do another one. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. Each one helps the channel grow its own. Last video, I announced a mythical giveaway, and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a frosty black hockey mask. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and if you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Unturned Titans. Unturned Titans is a full vanilla server which has just been created. It is a PvP type server and the goal over there is to build and pillage the bases of others. The community is quite small but very welcoming as well. If you guys want to check it out, the IPN port is showing right now and it will be in the description below as well as the discord invite link and let's dive straight into the video all right so i'm in completely as a naked now i have played here a few days ago actually but i got raided now this is the map it's actually quite large I mean, we have nothing there's no vault there's nothing there's no kit the only kit that there is is like a bow kit but even that i'm not going to do it we're going to try to get everything in a survival type of way we're gonna have to farm for everything which is exactly how i wanted now this server is amazing there's literally everything functional in this video i will try to showcase as much as possible at the same time but i will have myself some my own solo goals basically first of all i want to have myself a two floor base perhaps the first floor being full high quality metal i also do want to get myself the highest tier of loot and at the same time i do want to do some raids loot some of the high tier monuments and at some point i want to go to the safe zone because there is something there that is pretty cool that i will want to show you all right so first things first is i'm going to farm as much wood as possible we can already make a pickaxe and an axe that's great now i'm probably gonna build close to water treatment because over there there's a bunch of good areas as well after that there's also the the train yard which is pretty nice at the same time over at the water treatment there is a recycler and also an oil refinery i don't think a lot of people actually go over there there's also the large oil rig which is pretty good i'm gonna start walking over there at the same time we're gonna farm as much wood as possible and stone hopefully we'll get there without actually dying i may actually try to make a bow zone let's get ourselves some cloth too for beds Alright, so we're over here at the, the random gas station. Now, this loot is actually quite quite normal. It's not high times loot or any of that. Each barrel it gets you two items. I don't know if there's a military crate over here or anything, to be honest. But we're gonna take everything. Pretty sure there's a recycler here, so... Scrap is very, very important on the survey. Like real rust, basically. Alright, yeah, let's just get ourselves... Yeah, we got ourselves a few more scrap. That's pretty good. I don't think there's actually a... Oh, there's a military crate. Great, alright, we got ourselves... Um, tech trash... Nothing that crazy though. Let's take this crude oil too, that's very important. We're gonna make ourselves our own refinery at some point. More scrap from over here. Yeah, there isn't a recycler here. I really thought there would be one. There's a watchtower too. Alright, we got something good. We can also research it by the way. A toolbox here. We got ourselves a bucket helmet. Let's wear that. Not a bucket, a wooden one. Now we could just spend here and destroy all of these but i'm just gonna continue walking actually. Let's just get the oil from here because we're gonna need a bit. And we only got a bunch of crude oil though. Even more scrap. So I made myself a bow. Let's get ourselves a few arrows as well. And there we go. Now we don't have to worry about dying to a bear or something like that. My head server currently, there's not a lot of people on. It's quite early in the morning actually. But I'm pretty sure later on more will, will join. I wanted to get myself a good start and actually be allowed to build a base without getting M249 from a 7-man team. I think I'm gonna build somewhere very close to here between oil rig and water treatment. I think it's a, it's a very good area. Alright, so this is where we're gonna build. It's a, hopefully a bit hidden down. But my construction is falling off every time. Yeah, it is. What? Okay. That's very weird. Now, this server, if you build, it doesn't actually go twig. It goes instantly wood, which is uh, actually really, really good. Yeah, I figured out why. My construction plan was falling off. And let's demolish that. Great. But yeah, we'll build a 2 by 2 and this will be like an airlock, basically. I'll start making walls. Over here at the side will be the door. Hopefully I actually have enough wood. I did farm quite a ton, but hopefully I do. We still need to make the tool cupboard and everything. And we need the resources for it to not decay, so... Right, let's get ourselves some floors. Now for the second floor, we'll focus on it later on, obviously. Right, let's make ourselves a wooden door. At some point, I need to get myself metal to make a cold lock, too. Let's make ourselves a bag. Put it over there. 
There we go, we got ourselves a bed. Yeah, we need uh, a lot more wood for a tool cupboard. So let's just farm a bit. Shouldn't take too long, we only need 200. Yeah, three hits and we get ourselves a tree down. One tree gives us like 60 wood. And so we got ourselves a cupboard, so I'll just put it over there. There we go. And we need, uh, need quite a lot of wood actually for it to not decay. All right, let's just put all of the resources we have in there for now. We can start upgrading to, to stone as well. Actually, uh, wait, I don't have stone on me? All right, I need more than I don't have enough. Right, let's just put all of those resources in there. We need to farm more wood for it to not decay, actually. So I'll just continue doing that. I don't want it to vanish in a second. Same time, we can farm some stone, too. All right, we are back ourselves quite a ton of wood and a ton of stone let's put the wood in there so it doesn't decay let's just start upgrading to stone though yeah there we go now we need more stone probably in the tool cupboard yeah which we do have is it still decaying oh, i don't have any resources right now makes sense yeah let's make a huge part of the base yeah now it's protected all right well it's protected at least it's only protected for like two hours at least better than nothing all right so my next step is i'm probably just going to do some crates actually we only need just one box, probably, because I'm going to take all of these random junk, and I'm going to go and put them in the recycler, and we're going to get ourselves, hopefully, a lot of scrap. Let's put the tech trash in there, though we don't really want to lose it. Alright, so I'm over at Water Treatment, or wherever this area is. Um, there's an oil refiner right here, that's perfect. Let's put the crude oil and the wood. That should also turn on, yep. Now it's being cooked, that's great. Now in here, there's a recycler, so... Yeah, there it is, it's right inside. There are no military crates in here, though, sadly. There's a med kit here, gears and scrap. Right, let's start putting everything inside. It also starts working, so we're gonna get ourselves hopefully a bunch of scrap, some high quality, and uh, hopefully a lot of metal fragments, too. Let's put the propane tanks in there. We don't really want them. All right, now at the same time, I'm just gonna hit all of these barrels. Now, the only reason right now why I want crude oil is so that I can make my own refinery. I don't really have to come here every single time. Make ourselves a large gate. That's pretty good, though. Alright, so let's just wait here until everything is done, and then once we're done, we'll just go back to base. It's very, very close, and we'll continue upgrading our, our home. Alright, so we're back. I got enough materials, yeah. Refinery has been crafted. Let's just put it here for now. Should I put it on the grass over there? Okay, that makes a very loud noise when you place it. But now all we can do is just, we can put all of the crude oil inside. We have ourselves our own refinery. That's great, actually. Let's put it over here. I think I placed it wrong. I think I placed it wrong again, but it's fine. It's whatever. As long as it works. Yes, sir. Let's go. There we go. We can also cook normal wood into charcoal in there, which is perfect, actually. If we ever would need charcoal for C4 or gunpowder. And we can also make ourselves a workbench, but I'm going to try to make ourselves level 3 workbench instantly, but we need more high quality for that. Now, I did learn some stuff the other time. I learned from every workbench, but obviously not all of them. So today, we'll probably just try to learn all of level 3, maybe level 2. The important is level 3, obviously. And to have a few guns learned. Pretty sure I have Revolver, Custom, SMG, and Thompson all learned. Yeah, let's make ourselves a furnace too, actually. So now we can start cooking raw ores. Let's put it over here. Let's start cooking some sulfur. Why not? Where's my wood? All right, there we go. Let's just put sulfur and wood in there. And now they're both working. Let's, let, let's go. We can make ourselves some large boxes too. Let's actually do that. I mean, myself three. There's gonna probably be more than enough. For now, at least. There we go. Second one over there. And third one over there. Later on, we'll do some code locks too. Let's just not waste all of the metal that we have. Uh, since we don't really have that much. Actually, I do have some some ores of it so i'll probably just cook those too and just place it over there we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of frags all right so i do have quite a ton of metal now i'm just gonna start upgrading uh, the wooden parts that i've not have stone into metal so at least it'll be a bit of a stronger base at some point all of this bottom floor i wanted to be all high quality metal but obviously we can't do that now we barely have enough and uh, right now i'm saving the high quality metal for the level three workbench anyway all right so probably next i'm going to go for another run i really want to make myself a hazmat suit so that we can actually go to high tier monuments and get ourselves some loot i also put a code lock on my door just in case i don't even know if it's safe or not but for biohazard suit yeah we need tarp high quality and so in case which i think i have all of them but i don't think i've researched it yet though all right so it's getting dark as well so i'm probably just gonna spend the night farming as much wood and as much nodes i can find and then as soon as we're done we'll home we'll depot it and hopefully it will be day by then all right so i'm over at the the gas station or whatever and i 
currently recycling as much stuff as possible. Getting ourselves some pretty good loot, actually. But yeah, we're getting ourselves a full inventory, so very soon I'm probably just gonna go straight to home. Yeah, we have a bunch of junk inside here, man. Let's put the fuses. Those give us a lot of scrap. But I should have enough high quality now to actually... Make myself a level 3 workbench. I'm, I'm pretty sure I should. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be salvaged. Check out what's up here. Maybe there's like a military crate or something. Uh, oh, no, there's a hazmat suit. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's one of the items that I really, really wanted. Oh, that's great. Silencer, too. That's pretty good. Oh, there is a military crate here, actually. And we got ourselves tech trash, rifle bodies, and the generator. All right, well, kind of full of loot. I don't know what to drop. You know, let's drop that hat. We don't want a hat. Let's drop those. I'm probably not going to use them anyway. Yeah, these are almost done as well. Full inventory. I need to... Yeah, let's put the propanes in there. All of this junk. All right, so I got myself a level 3 bench. Also level 1. Uh, I don't know where to place them, actually. Yeah, let's put them over here next to the tool cupboard. There we go. All right, so until now I have learned... Uh, until C4, we can learn AK Bolt very, very soon. And there's also clothes at the bottom make ourselves a goal that we have to learn those at some point i think i can actually learn a lot of them to be honest already i can't make a campfire i can make a lamp though oh i can't i haven't researched it yet never mind all right so this is the level one we didn't really learn that much we learned until revolver basically we have double pump till oh, yeah, it's really just a bunch of junk for level two we just need a bit more high quality which we do not have sadly it's a lot of charcoal falling down our refinery is full yeah, we can smelt so much more ores as well. Maybe I can make myself a second furnace or a large furnace or something like that at some point. I'm getting ourselves a lot of charcoal, man. All right, so next I'm probably going to go to airfield, actually. I think over there could be a pretty good run. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of elite crates over there. But there may be people, obviously, but it should be okay. All right, let's make ourselves a normal door. Let's salvage this one so that it's not one C4 away. I think, no, I thought I thought if you hold the hammer, it salvages quicker, but no. Also, inside the base, I do want to make honeycomb. Probably just do garage doors. I think that would be very, very nice. All right, let's wait until it's day, though, and then we'll go then. I'll just wait in here, wait for stuff to cook. All right, so I've also made myself a research table. I have no idea how this works, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's just level 1, though. Or is level 2 here? Yeah, that's what I've learned from level 2. Basically, the good stuff I learned until rocket launcher. I have a garage door, so in centuries. All right, yeah, I've also learned until the scope. But we have no more scrap now. We have to go farm a bit. We could go gamble at them in the save zone, the little that I have. I'll probably just lose them there, but not really a smart idea right now, to be honest. I'm over at train yard. Already got myself some pretty good junk. There's a recycler. I put some stuff over there. Hopefully no randoms will just show up and take everything. Military crates over here. A bunch of scrap, though. Oh, we got a custom. Oh, finally, we got ourselves a gun. Yeah, that only has, like, five bullets, though. But I'm really happy. Finally, we got ourselves a gun, man. We're gonna, let's get ourselves hopefully as much scrap as possible so that we can finish the tech tree So Now I don't know if and when the server wipes everything including the stuff you learned from the tech tree wipes as well uh, There's a wooden chest piece too, let's just take it And then if we get better stuff we'll just drop it, it's, it's whatever Let's keep going up, pretty sure there's gonna be more I'm really happy we finally got ourselves our first gun though, we didn't have to learn We didn't have to craft it ourselves A bunch of pipes, those pipes can be good to actually craft weapons There's a bow in here we don't need that. Yeah, there's another floor above us. Let's go up there. Oh, there's elite crates. Okay, well, there's high quality. That's actually really good. There's a bunch of SMG bodies and rifle bodies. Let's take those gears. Those could be quite important. So I'm noticing... Oh, another custom SMG. Oh, that's good. We'll obviously take it, but... Yeah, I'm noticing that if you wear clothes, they don't actually give you any more storage. It doesn't matter what clothes you wear for storage, at least. Oh, there's a... Okay, well, there's a crossbow and two compound bows from an elite crate. Kind of hoped for better loot, to be honest, but it's all right. I'm happy enough for the two custom SMGs. Let's just eat the corn so that we get at least a bit more storage. There's another floor above. Yes, sir. But I don't think there's any good crates here. There isn't. It's just a bunch of barrels. All right, it's fine. Let's go to the recycler. Let's get ourselves all of the materials that we just got to recycle them, get the ones that I've already put, and then we'll, we'll home. If I didn't learn the custom already, I would have just used one to actually put it in the research table, but there's really no need. Right, let's take all of the good stuff, put these junk in there. I'm gonna keep the rifle bodies so that we can maybe make ourselves our own AK or LRs or whatever. I don't think you can even make LRs, actually. All right, boys, we are back. I'm gonna continue upgrading all of the bays into full metal. I should have more than enough now. I also did farm a lot of sulfur when the recycler was recycling all of those items. There were a lot of nodes very close. Oh, I'm out, actually. I should have more, though. Yes, sir. Let's get ourselves another stack. And we're gonna have ourselves a full metal base. 
There's, okay, no, never mind. I need for one more wall. There we go. Full metal base. Great. Now, very soon, we're probably going to start upgrading to the second floor. So, yeah, we can start making garage doors. All we need is gears, which I did farm quite a lot of. Yes, sir. We do have a whole stack over here. Oh, I need to go to the workbench. There we go. We made one. Let's do two for now. Let's get ourselves our hammer and we'll just do it for honeycomb inside our own base. Just in case we're getting door camped later on, basically. More people are starting to join, so that's good. Now that we can actually start killing some people now. All right, let's get ourselves the construction tool. And we're gonna make the main door into a garage door. Into a wall frame. I think it's stronger than a normal metal sheet door. Oh, I need, I need wood. All right, let's put these a bunch of like that for honeycomb. That looks really good. First one. Second one. I can make another one, actually. I'll do that. I need to go to level three. There we go. And now we have some honeycomb. Let's just start upgrading it all to metal So, And there we go. These are just decaying or whatever they are. The debris. Bro, that looks so cool. Now let's just put the sheet in there. Oh, wait. Actually, let's put the code lock. I forgot to do that. Let's put it right over there. It's kind of cool that it goes to the side and you can open it from that too. Yeah, I'm gonna probably gonna start upgrading to the second floor. But first, let's just move all of these out of the way. Now let's build the second floor. For now, I'll just do it wood though. And then later on. We'll upgrade it to stone or something. Alright, so I spent the last few minutes farming stone for the second floor. So that we don't just keep it wood. But up there, I'm probably just going to do like furnaces mostly. Maybe I'll move some of the loot up there so it's not just in one area. But yeah, I did got quite a ton of stone. I don't know where my hammer is. Oh yeah, there it's at the very bottom. We'll put it in here for now. And uh, actually very, very soon, we're going to go to the oil rig. Now let's just put this in here to smelt while we're gone. So that we get ourselves a bunch, bunch of more frags. Alright, there we made a garage door. There's somebody with uh, a mini copter very close to me. Actually, I'm gonna go check out what's going on. I think he's gonna land right here. Bro, I have a bunch of chopped trees outside though, so they may actually realize that. Oh, this is terrible. I barely have any ammo, so... Yeah, they stopped. Um, I'm probably gonna go with the revolver then. At least I have enough ammo in that. Even the hazmat suit, I'll keep it in here. Alright, let's see where the hell he landed. Oh, there's chopped trees over there. It's not mine. He landed somewhere over there. Oh, he's going back in. Oh, he's leaving. I hope he didn't see me, actually. He seems quite geared. He may be going to large oil rig or something then. Yeah, so it's probably going to happen. He's going to add... He's going there to lose it or something. Alright, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to the large oil rig. I made myself some bullets. And I'm gonna give it a try, man. I'm, if he's there, then I would just try to kill him. He had a mini copter, so that would be great to have. Let's just hopefully we don't die. I don't know if we need the hazmat suit to get there, but... I'll just wear one just in case. It's very, very close to my base, so let's just go. Even if he didn't loot there, we could get some really, really good loot there. There's like elite crates and everything. Maybe we'll get ourselves some high tier guns or an airdrop or something. Oh, there's a bear there. You know, he's dead. He only drops like leather and food. So a hazmat suit is basically used as a gas mask over here so that's good you can't just farm it all the time unless you have brand new hazmat every single time there's a bunch of loot we got ourselves a salvage deck that's pretty nice um bunch of stuff that we can salvage but i'm not gonna recycle here obviously it's probably gonna be a huge waste of time i really want to get like elite crates or something like that man also there's a large base right in front of us at the very coast and it's live there were people roof camping oh yeah there's elite crates oh my god we got all right we got guns a bunch of scrap that's really good landmine Pump shotgun and a pistol, that, that's pretty good. It's nice. Oh yeah, and there's over here, there's this crate. You can get some a pretty good loot. So let's just start breaking it. Alright, finally. Uh, okay, that's... Dude, that's crazy. We got ourselves another hazmat suit, LR, scope, bunch of ammo. Oh, that's really, really good. Some heavy clothes. Alright, yeah, we're done with... There's so many minicopters and helis here, actually. The thing is, I'm kind of scared to take one, and I'm scared that I'm just gonna get sniped or something. Yeah, we got a scope on it. Oh my, that's actually huge. Yeah, a lot of people just come here with them, and then they just leave them here. I'm pretty sure you can buy them from the safe zone, actually. Yeah, there's a minicopter, so... I don't know how the hell there it's inside there. There's people back there, I'm pretty sure. But since I'm full of loot, I'm not gonna try... Yeah, they're inside the base. It just didn't render in. Those guys seem geared, I don't really want to risk my only LR either. I'll still run around with it, but I won't focus. We got ourselves an L96, so... Yeah, most guns, they you don't get them as 
with full ammo. So, alright, there we go. Let's just put all of these items in here. We got an MP5, so another hazmat, so generator, landmine. Now, all of the junk that we got, I'm just going to go straight to a recycler, recycle them. And very soon, we'll probably go to outpost and we could buy some really good guns there. We could buy like m 49s grenade launchers. Pretty sure you can buy AKs too. And very soon we'll start focusing on making ourselves some explosives so that we can do some raids. Today I do want to do some raids, but I'm pretty sure we need to farm quite a bit more for that. Alright, so I just farmed a lot of wood. Yeah, the furnace stopped because I think it got full. A lot of the charcoal is falling down. But we do need that charcoal for gunpowder actually. And just smelt as much metal as possible. We do have two stacks inside. Probably gonna do a large furnace very soon too, actually. Yeah, so for a large furnace, all I need is just wood and stone, which I do have. And there we go. We got a large, we got a large furnace, but the problem is I don't know where I'm gonna place it inside, so... I'll just put it outside. Put it right. we put it right over here. At some point, maybe I'll do a bunch of... Large stone walls. I yeah, just put a bunch of wood in there. Oh, it's already starting to cook. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to waste it. Also, of those sulfur that I have, probably just let them cook. Yeah, we do have a bunch. And yeah, we have so much over here. Even uh, even metal, we have quite a lot. Right, let's close this one. And let's place all of this wood in there. All of this sulfur, and let's let it cook. Now it's gonna be much faster, and we're gonna get much more quite quicker. I can make another one if I really want to, but now nah. let's keep the oil for C4. Let's put all of the wood into TC, even though I. I do still need quite a ton of wood actually for it. So my next step is I'm just gonna start making explosives. I can't. Oh, I need to go next to the next to the workbench. There we go. We got quite a ton already, but yeah, we should be able to make quite a lot more. All of the sulfur that's being cooked outside. We do have a bunch of charcoal too. For C4, yeah, we still need more. We do have tech trash and cloth. Every time I found tech trash, salvage it or any of that, I knew that I would need them. We do need two tech trash for each C4. There we go. We got a bunch of sulfur being cooked here. Amazing. It's so quick, man. Right, so I've been spending uh, quite a long time making C4 mainly. And it's starting to cook again. Great. Just close this. But I did craft a few already. I, I'm gonna try to aim myself to get 3 C4 so that we can raid a stone base. Because on the server, it is a bit harder to raid than usual. Which is good, so that you can actually build a base without having to worry that you don't get raided by 1 C4. It's still being cooked. It's so much fast, man, Jesus, look at this. Yeah, I can make more explosives, I just need to go inside. Look at the workbench. There we go, easy explosives, and now I should be able to make a C4. Yeah, we just need cloth. We have a billion cloth. Let's get uh, let's get this one right over here. And bam, C4 has been crafted. Put that right with the others. Now it's probably we're gonna go do another... We're gonna go try to do our first base raid on the server as a solo doing it quite quick man keep in mind it's actually not that easy to get loot on the server and this is still being cooked beautiful let's go do our first insane base raid let's hope some good loot man now the thing is since there's no vault we have to run around with c4 so we need to be super careful if i hear shots or any of that i am going to go to the completely other side i'm going to go down at the bottom of the map around train yard or maybe actually we could go around this area Right now, I'm not gonna focus on PvP, I am just going to focus on doing a raid, try to profit, try to get some loot. But yeah, even if there's not a lot of PvP going on, I'm still having a really, really good time on the server, man. Chill, survival server, no high times loot, no kits, no vault, nothing, none of that. Oh, I found myself... What? Bro, this is live. Oh, there's no way. It's, it's just a stone base, 2 by 2 right, Let's just chuck ourselves all 3c4. Bro, at least we found a live base. I have been not really finding PvP today. Alright, 2c4, 3rd c4. Oh. Wait, I think... Oh, yeah. Um, Poor guy. He had a bunch of stuff, though. He had a bunch of stone. Oh my god, he didn't have anything. He didn't even have a tool cupboard down. Well, I mean, at least we got a bunch of stone. Poor guy. I think he just left the server, so I don't know if that was him. I am so sorry. I mean, not really, though. We got ourselves some insane stone. Kind of hope that he had better loot. At least at least a revolver or a bow or something, man. All right, well, our first base raid. Hoped for more, but we did get ourselves a bunch of materials, though. We did get ourselves... Uh, we did get a lot of components. We had, like, a billion blades. So if you think about it, that's a bunch of metal and scrap. All right, so all of the stone that that dude had, I'm just upgrading the second floor to full stone. We should have more than enough here. Yeah, we definitely do. We literally upgraded all of it. All we need to do is the garage doors and all of that stone has been used. I could just say that I'm selling stone. Maybe some guy would be like, oh yeah, I want stone. But nah, we'll just put it in our tool cupboard or something. But yeah, I think my next step is, well, we used all of the C4 that I had. 
So we're just gonna have to wait for his, the items to cook once again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go to the safe zone. I'm gonna gamble a bit. Maybe if I do hit it big, I'll buy myself like an M249 or something. I won't take a lot of scrap with me though. So we're over at the safe zone. There's a recycler here so we can actually do it safely. Not, in, not having to worry about randoms just showing up behind me and just killing me. So I'll just wait here. It's very important that I don't actually leave the recycler. Or else a random can just get in it and get all of the slots. Yeah, there is a guy literally... Right in front of me. Getting a lot of loot, actually. Yo, he's asking me to give him stuff. Hell nah, bruh. You gotta work for it on the server, man. Bro, he's not leaving me alone. Go away. He actually left. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of scrap, actually. All those fuses give us so much scrap, so we're gonna gamble all of it, probably. Maybe not all of it. Maybe a, a small part of it. Maybe we'll, we'll hit it big. Alright, so I'm just gonna gamble 10 scrap on 5, 10, and 20. If we get on any of those, we would actually profit. If we get it on 5, we'll get 50. We got on 10, we got 100, and so on. And we're gonna get on 5, there you go, profit. Let's go. We'll probably do the same thing again. 5, 10, and 20. We have a 1,000 scrap on us. I just hope we leave with a 1,000 scrap, or at least we buy something worth a 1,000 scrap. And it's gonna please 20. Nope, it's landed on 1, great. Well, we lost 30 scrap there. Let's do it one more time. Obviously, the highest odds are of them that they land on 1 and 3. But if you hit it on 5, 10, or 20, you can win big, man. There's also a limit, I'm pretty sure. Like, you cannot gamble more than 100 at the same time. Yep, we just lost again. Let's do it on 1, 3, and 5 this time. So that at least we will get something in return. And it's landing on 1. Alright, well, we got, we got 10 scrap back. We still lost 20 scrap, but at least we didn't lose all of them. And we'll do it one more time and then we'll dip. I don't want to spend too long here. Also. I'll probably just go home with zero scrap. Oh, five. Oh, there we go. Profit. All right, well, technically, I, I think we just we stayed at the exact same amount. All right, so back here, there is a bunch of vending machines. You can buy so much items. For sure, you can buy stuff like weapons, obviously. You can buy items such as... Metal frags, oil, cloth, and the first one I think you can buy just like resources such as, yeah, pipes, tech trash, sewing kits. They're actually not that cheap, most of them. But over here you can buy metal, wood, stone. It's kind of a shame you can't buy high quality metal to be honest. I would be buying so much of that. Over here you can buy guns, but we cannot buy M249. We can buy either a jackhammer or a grenade launcher. I really don't know. Yeah, let's get ourselves a grenade launcher. Why not? I don't think it comes with ammo. No, it doesn't. I kind of regret it now. I kind of should have gotten a jackhammer. I still have a bunch of scrap. Maybe I could just buy, I don't know, maybe some metal frags or wood or oil. Stone, definitely no. Yeah, let's actually get ourselves some metal frags. All right, and let's go back to base. All right, so I'm going to start farming sulfur so that we can start working for another set of C4. Hopefully, this time, we'll get ourselves a better raid than the first one. Oh, there's a guy there. Helicopter too. He seemed geared. Oh yeah, I'm 249. Okay, so after around 30 minutes, I do have enough. I found myself a base here. Got three C4 for a stone base. Got more than three, but it's just three for this one. Maybe there's lockers inside or something. I mean, this one's live, so I, I don't know though. Yeah, it's not. Um. Okay, well, there's a bunch of crates. Okay, well, some weapons, oil, some sulfur. We got the TC. Okay. Oh my god, he has a bunch of scrap. Bro, we can't buy an M249 with that. He has literally enough. All right, we got ourselves uh, quite some good loot from this. Probably not worth the 3C4, but we definitely got a lot of scrap. A lot of stone, a lot of cloth, a lot of metal, two guns, shotgun, and the pistol. Could have been much worse. I mean, the server is brand new. I think it, I think it started like two days ago, so kind of makes sense. We can make a level 2 workbench if we want to. That's great. It's really good, though. Alright, so I'll wait for the raid block to finish and then we'll go back to base. And I'm currently aiming to get myself a full high quality first floor. We already started a bit, but what does we do get a bunch more? So we should have enough now. Alright, so let's just finish making the first floor. Even the floors will make it all high quality. We did so much progression today, man. Didn't really get into PvP that much, but we got literally everything. We raided bases, full high quality base. Some of the best weapons in the game. It's looking pretty good, man. Alright, so I placed uh, the wooden watchtower here. I've had this the whole time. <laughs> I'll just put it there. I mean, it's whatever. Just in case people are trying to raid me or something, I could just go up there and camp. It would be kind of funny. Alright, everybody. After that, I did leave the server. I had a really, really good solo run. We did manage to do all of the goals that I wanted to do. We did get ourselves just two kills this whole run, but 
At least the second one was quite geared. I hope that you guys did enjoy though. If you guys wanted to become a series in the future, let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.